Hi, welcome to this tutorial of the Usage Hub's new multi-factor authentication. AEP has implemented a multi-factor authentication system for all users of Usage Hub. Authentication will be required with every sign-on. Don't worry, we've only changed how you log in. Usage Hub will continue to be the source of customer usage history. Let's walk through the steps you'll take to re-register access to Usage Hub. Since the Usage Hub enhancements, your first time logging in will be with your existing user information. You will create a new password and it must meet the new password requirements. This pop-up will occur during first login only. However, this cannot be skipped. The pop-up will occur again if not completed. A new email address user ID will pre-populate with the email that was provided during registration for Usage Hub. You can update this email now. However, once you click Submit, it cannot be changed, as this will be your new user ID moving forward. Moving forward, you will log in with the new user ID and password. You will have options to verify through any registered method. As a reminder, Entering a verification code will be required every time. Additionally, verification will default to email unless otherwise selected. Should you need to reset your password or make modifications to your multi-factor authentication, click the gear icon. From here, click Reset Password or Reset Multi-Factors as appropriate. Resetting your password will send a link to your email address provided during registration. Resetting Multi-Factors allows you to edit your phone number as a method to receive the verification code. Should you have any questions or require assistance, please contact your market specialist at the email or phone number provided below.